the ability to pick market bottoms with any degree of regularity puts you in a category all by yourself for the most part. There aren't many people that can do this with consistency. And so I'm going to talk to you today about my approach for picking bottoms. But listen to this. I'm going to show you and teach you how to do this from an income perspective. And I'm going to teach you how to do this from a wealth generating perspective. So a lot of traders, guys, they talk to me. They talk to me about styles, right? And they say, Oliver, um, I want to be an income producing trader. I want to be able to earn my living in the markets. That's fine. But there's also a different type of market play called wealth oriented trading or core trading. This is where you play the markets for huge life changing gains. And I don't believe a trader should choose. You should not choose whether or not you an income producing. You, you should not choose between income producing styles of market play and longer term wealth producing styles of market play. The true master trader has both of those covered. So today, my bottom picking method, I'm going to show it to you from an income style so that you can take this technique and start earning money with it on a day to day basis. I'm going to also teach you this style from a macro perspective where this this particular technique has the potential to create life changing opportunities for you. Now, there are four market tops. We're not going to focus on those today. We're going to go to the bottoms. OK, I just wanted to make you aware that there are four market tops and there are four major ways that market bottoms markets bottom. OK, this is what I would call the V bottom. All right. Where your market basically bottoms in the form of a V drops and then right away rallies back to the downside. Now, I would say that the market did this kind of bottom in 2020. All right. In 2020, in March of 2020, we fell into a V bottom and we V'd right back to the upside. That is one type of bottom. There is another type of bottom, which is sort of like the square bottom or um, the flat bottom where you drop to the downside. You don't V back up to the upside. You actually drop and go sideways for a little bit and boom. After a sideways period, you move explosively back to the upside. So the V is an immediate explosive move from a almost an abrupt halt and sharp rally. Okay, this does not give you the sharp rally right away. This gives you a sideways pause and then the abrupt rally. Okay, and then you have the U bottom the rounded bottom this bottom doesn't really go sideways as much as it rounds out a bottom so it might look like something like this boom whereas that this is more starkly a sideways pattern boom and this is more rounded okay now, this is probably the least, this is probably the least occurring bottom. The, these three are far more um, frequent in their occurrence. Now, this is the last type of bottom I'm going to point to right here. And this can commonly re be referred to as your double bottom. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is probably the most frequently occurring bottom, okay? The double bottom, all right? Where it's not the first attempt to move off the bottom that keeps going. This actually experiences a retest of the prior low. Here's the first low. Here's your retest. And then, boom, there's your violent move off the bottom. So it's the second time that becomes the real time in this bottom it's the first attempt that is real in this one it's the second attempt and i'm going to tell you this is the most occurring bottom of them all and this is the one that we're going to focus on today 
I'm not going to focus on the V bottom or the flat bottom or the rounded bottom. I'm going to focus on the one that you're going to experience more than all of them. And I'm going to turn you into a bottom picking expert with this pattern right here. Now, what I want to cover with you next is this. This bottom has different variations. It doesn't always look like this. So let's look at the specific individual variations of this double bottom, all right? There are three types. There's the plain vanilla double bottom where your bottoms are relatively equal. So you bottom out, forming bottom number one. This move up actually halts and fails and then there's a retest of the bottom, all right? This bottom's again, relatively equal. Don't be so strict to say, oh my God, it's 10 cents off. No, it's relatively equal bottom, and boom, your violent move to the upside occurs on the second attempt. That's the plain double bottom, but there are others. The other two are not as plain. This, the, the other two are the variations of this where your second leg is higher in this case than the first leg. So if this stock has a left leg and a right leg, the right leg is higher. This bottom, the left leg and right leg are relatively even. And in this scenario, you have the left, the right leg is actually mildly lower, so you break through the bottom, but very briefly and mildly, and the explosive move to the upside happens after. And so these are, this is the main one, and these are your variations of that bottom. Now, out of these three, Today, I am going to, these are all very important, by the way, guys. Every single variation is important. But I don't have time to go over all of them in detail. I'm going to pick the one that I find that is the easiest to play for traders, and that's number two. We're going to pull number two out, and we're going to do a deep dive into bottom variation number two, and this variation is going to give you an amazing ability to pick a bottom in any stock, any Forex currency pair, any cryptocurrency. It doesn't matter what you trade. You're going to be able to apply bottom variation number two, and you're going to be able to apply it and pick bottoms with a high degree of accuracy. So check this out, guys. We get above the 20. We This is not a break, that's a lean. But look at the power, look at the violence, look at the oomph, look at that surge. We dive into the green off the 20 MA halt. You put your money into the first power green. I'm going to repeat that, traders. You put your money into the first power green. You can wait toward the end of the power green. That's a two-minute power green bar. You can wait for a minute 45 seconds, a minute 50 seconds. Just don't let that two-minute finish without putting your money inside of that bar. Your money is inside of the first power power green. I'm going to repeat that again. Your money is inside of the first power green off of the 20 MA halt. We are going to be 20 MA halt experts. Put your money inside of the first power green off the 20 MA, the 20 MA halt. Now, once your money is in the bar, your protection is under the bar's low. Simple. Money in the bar, protective stop, one penny under the bar. Don't lose the bar. Listen, traders, this is one of my number one trading precepts. Don't ever, well, don't, 
generally lose more than one bar. Think about this. You go inside of a bar, you go inside of a bar, your protection's underneath the bar. You got that? You go inside the bar, protection's underneath the bar. You buy the bar, protection's underneath. You buy the bar, protection's underneath. You buy the bar, protection's underneath. And check this out. If you lose on the vast majority of your trades, you lose just one bar, guess what your winners are going to do? You're going to win five bars, but lose one bar. You're going to win 10 bars, but lose one. You're going to win three bars, but lose one. You're going to win 40 bars, but lose one. Every loss is going to be one bar, but your wins will be 40 bars, 20 bars, 10 bars, 2 bars, 4 bars, 19 bars, 11 bars, 6 bars, 7 bars, 80 bars. But you'll always limit your loss to one bar. This is what's going to keep you in this business forever. This is going to prevent you from being a chronic loser. This is going to keep you out of trouble. This is going to prevent you from blowing up your account. This, 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 this concept. One bar losses. You got that? You got it. All right, good. Let's go. Let's keep going. This is amazing. So we're putting our money in to the bar off the 20. We're putting our protective stop one. Our, look at what our risk is. Oh, guys, this is today. Right after 10 o'clock Eastern time. New York time, boom! And look at your potential gain. Now guys, I'm always telling my traders, you have to be a snowman trader. Your loss is the head of the snowman. Now look, here's a snowman. I don't know if those of you who, I, lived, I grew up in New York. We used to have snowstorms and I used to love snowstorms because I'd go out and build my, this is an upside down, snowman but you want fat profits do you understand that's his little feet but you want fat profits see how fat that snowman is you want fat profits but you want little losses there's my loss now how many heads of this snowman fit inside of that body a lot that's proper trading. That's proper risk management. The snowman approach to trading, that's keeping your losses significantly smaller than your potential gains. That's what's going to keep you in this business. That's what's going to prevent you from blowing up. That's what's going to send you to that very desirable state we call mastery in trading. This is one of the number one rules you can apply, guys. Never lose more than one bar. That's the 20 MA halt, guys. Remember the criteria because I'm going to speed through this time. All right. Stock spends a decent amount of time under a declining 20. Stock from under the 20 gets height above the 20. Criteria two. The pullback halts at the 20 and gives you a power green bar, which you buy before the power green bar finishes. 15 seconds, 20 seconds before the two minutes is, is finished. Boom! You're in the bar. Your money is inside that bar. Your protection is right under that bar's low. And that's that wonderful sound that I want you to get very used to. All right? That's that wonderful sound. You got it? We're gonna get used, I want you to get used to, get used, get used to that sound. <laughs> I know I'm crazy guys, but some, I know, listen, some of you have that sound. Some of you have it like this. But we want it to be like this. All right, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> I promise. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Now, here's, here's a cryptocurrency, guys. This is Solana. All right? All right? Now, I'm not saying that you should trade these things. I'm just showing you that. I'm going to show you basically every market. 
and how it doesn't matter what market you go to. It's the same thing because human beings are the same no matter what market they move to. It's human beings moving these things. It's not Martians. It's not people from in some intergalactic universe or galaxy out there. No, it's human beings. And human beings are moved by the same emotions. And it doesn't matter whether you put a cryptocurrency market in the hands of a human being, whether you put an options market, whether you put a, a forex currency market, whether you put an equity market, whether you put options market, whether you put futures market, the human being is the same. Human beings are always the same. They're always moved by the same thing. It doesn't matter what's in their hands. And you're going to see the same thing play out in every single market. All right. And so here, here's our declining 20 period moving average. Here's the stock having spent a great deal of time under the 20. That's criteria one. This is today. All right. Stock, you see how here the stock doesn't get real height. You see, that's problematic. You really want height. See the height? That's preferable. The height is preferable where you have some space between the stock or the item and the 20. Now we pull back. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Boom! Look at the power green. Look at the surge. Look at the violence. You're going in this bar. Now, I want to give you something a little extra here. If your power green bar eliminates a nice, sizable, fat red bar, you don't have to, you can go in right there. So here's a little bar. Some of my traders would get in right above the red right there. Boom. And, and that's cool too, because their stop is so close. But it's the fat one that I that that you really want a, a decent size red to be taken out. So boom, that's your key. Some of my traders would buy there, some of my traders would buy there. It's the significant bar removal that's really the key. You see? This is okay too color change at or near that 20 MA halt. So a lot of people say, well, Oliver, you know, what about this one? It just, it just didn't get enough height for me. I like the height. Do you understand? I like that height and then boom. All right. Good. All right. Starting to come together here now. Up oh, here's another one. All right. Polygon. All right, guys, listen, these are all nonsens nonsensical cryptocurrencies to me. I'm a pure maximalist Bitcoiner. I'm just trying to show you, right? I'm trying to show you that no matter what market you go to, Oliver Velez's voice is going to be in your head. I'm going to be in your head as these 20 MA halt plays form and two minute charts on in, in every other time frame for that matter. No matter where you go, I'm going to be there, all right? Now, here, we're under a declining 20-period moving average, all right? We, this doesn't really get enough height, but this does. We pull back. There's the haul. Boom! Now, when can I really enter this? When, see that red bar right there? When that red bar gets taken out, boom! Money goes in here. Protection goes right under. This is your risk. Uh-oh, here's that. Here's that snowman again. Oh! And it's so appropriate that we're dealing with the snowman concept because in certain areas in the world, it's going to start snowing. I love it. I love this. Now, guys... I'm not talking too much about profit taking today. That's a different topic, but you all should know if you follow my work that I'm, I teach my traders to take profits when you get distances away from the 20. When you get distances away from the 20, you're, you're due for a setback, right? The same way when you get distances away to the downside, you're poised for a snapback, all right? So it's distance away distance away, distance away.